Hello guys, um, you're welcome back. Uh, we want to start looking at um, how you divide polynomials and how you factorize uh, polynomials. So this lesson will basically cover dividing uh, polynomials by linear uh, functions and then later on we'll look at how you factorize uh, polynomials. Okay, they are, they are quite uh, similar related uh, concepts. Um, but before then, we'll look at different types of polynomials, right? So we have um, what is called monomials, right? So these are polynomials which, which are single expressions, right? So for example, uh, if you have 5x, you have 5x squared, they say y, you have 9mn, all right? This would be called a monomial. It's just a single sign, okay, single expression. Uh, you, can, you can break this down. Um, then you have what is called binomials, where you have two times that are not alike, that are different, okay? So you have, for example, x plus 2x squared, and of course, you can't combine these two, and so they form what is called a binomial uh, expression. Um, all right. I mean, if this was squared, right? If this was squared, x squared plus two x squared. You know, we can combine this to give us three x squared. So it's really this is actually a monomial, all right? Because it's just three x squared. It's a single term. Okay. So for binomials, they are separate. They are different. You can't uh, you can't really combine them. Uh, so another example would be let's say two m n minus let's say seven m squared. Right? This you can't do. You can't do that. All right? So that those are binomials. And you have trinomials as well. Um, you can imagine go on trinomial. Okay. So similarly, you have three times that are not alike, which you can't combine. Um, and so if you take our this guy, x plus two x squared. Uh, minus like three x cube that will form a trinomial. Okay. Now polynomials have several terms, n terms. Okay. So that that is um, how we say polynomial. Poly, many, several of them. So polynomials you would have. It's a general term. There are different ways this is uh, often represented. You have a constant term multiplied by x <coughs> raised to the power, uh, let's say n. You have um, another term you could say plus a1 x to the n next power, say a2 x to the n minus 2 plus and so on to let's say x1, um, sorry, x um, n minus 1. All right, know that these guys are increasing um, and these are decreasing. So you have this plus, finally you have this and x to the four is zero, but x to the zero is just one. So you have this. So that is a, a polynomial. Yeah, you have n, n times. It's a general form of all these other, these other ones. Good, um, these are the coefficients constants there of the polynomial, right? And the order is the order of the highest of the highest standard. So order the order of the polynomial. So if I have two x squared minus three x plus whatever five, the order will be two. Okay? Because the highest power there, the highest power there is two. If I have 4x raised to the power 5 minus 3x squared minus 10. This would be a polynomial with an order 5, fifth order polynomial. All right? Okay. So these are some basics about um, polynomials. The main point is that um, suppose you're given some kind of a polynomial and you are given um, some binomial or some linear term. 
and you want to divide their polynomial by that expression, how do you do that? Okay. Well, you basically have to use uh, long division. Hopefully, you've, uh, you've done that before. Okay. So long division. Let's let's do a couple of examples here. Okay. So divide divide example. So we'll do some examples. Divide divide the expression x squared plus 4s minus 5 by let's say x minus 1. We want to divide this over that. What do you get? Alright? So you use the same thing that you hopefully you've seen before. You do long division. You have x squared plus 4x minus 5. So your denominator comes here, your expression, numerator comes there. Take x into x squared, that gives you x. x times x is x squared, x times negative 1 is minus x, right? Then you subtract, this and this cancel out, right? x squared minus x squared is 0. 4x minus minus x is 5. To add up, right? 4x minus minus, that's this you 5x. You have negative 5 minus. This is like a 0 here, right? So you have negative 5 minus 0. That is negative 5. Okay? Then you go back, repeat the process. Um, x goes into 5x. You have 5. So you have positive 5 here. And then you go on 5 times x is 5x. 5 times negative 1 is negative 5. And now when you subtract, you get 0 and you have 0. Right? You have 0 is there. Okay? So you are done. So you have divided this by this and you got x plus 5. Okay? So what that means is that x squared plus 4x minus 5. If I divide it by x minus 1, I'm going to get x plus 5. 5 without a remainder, right? Which also means that this guy, look that as I multiply this, this also means that this guy here can be written as the product of this and this. Multiply by x plus 5. You see? So later on we'll see that we'll see that these are these guys are called factors. Alright, we'll talk about that later. But these guys will be called factors of this polynomial, of this um, expression here. Okay? Right now we're just looking at how you divide them. Alright? And you see that when you divide, you get this without any remainder, remainder term. Okay? Good. Now let's look at um, a second example. Uh, number two. So let's divide. Let's divide. So two. Okay. I have. Let's take um, x squared plus four x plus five. Let's take this and divide by x plus three. All right x squared plus 4, x plus 5, and this. Divide. Same process. I have x plus 3. I have x squared plus 4x plus 5 in here. x goes in there. x, right? Then x times x is x squared. x times 3 is 3x. Three plus 0. Subtract. This minus this is x. This is 5. Then again, x goes into x1, so I have plus 1 here. Then 1 times x is x. 1 times 3 is 3. So now if I subtract, I get 0 here. 5 minus 3 is 2. Okay? So now, I have a remainder. Which means that if you divide, so this is called a remainder term. 
as a remainder. Remainder. Later on, we'll talk about the remainder theorem. All right? How do you how do you find this guy? This remainder without actually going through this process. We'll look at. We we'll use what is called the remainder theorem to help us do that. Okay. But for now, this is what it means. It means that if I have x squared plus 4x plus 5, and I divide it by x plus 3, I'm going to get this guy here, right? I'm going to get x plus 1, with a remainder of 2 over the denominator over this guy, right? Over, over this guy. 2 over x plus See that? Like when you divide by, by 2, right? These fractions, 2 goes to the 5 two times, remainder 1 over 2. Good. So um, when you divide a polynomial by um, this linear equation, um, you don't always get a zero remainder. Sometimes you have uh, a non zero remainder like that. That is the purpose of it. Okay. Good. You can also divide expressions that are not. Linear, right? This is not only for linear expression. So let's let's do um, the final one. Okay. So and um, this and this um, dividing polynomials. Okay. So we'll take x to the four, x to the four, four minus x squared minus two. We want to take this and divide by squared plus one. See, this is this is not linear. This is some quadratic. All right. So same process. X squared plus one out here. X to the power four. X squared minus two. X squared goes into x to the power four. That gives you x squared, right? And x squared times x squared gives you x to the four. X squared times one will give you x squared. Okay, then you subtract, that gives you zero. Negative x squared minus x squared is negative two x squared, all right? There's a zero here, so negative two minus zero is negative two. Now x squared goes into that, we have a negative two, right? So I have negative two times x squared, I get a negative two x squared, negative two, and times one is a negative two. All right. Now, if I subtract, I get zero and zero. Okay. So now there's no remainder. So if I divide, this means that x to the power four, x squared minus two. If I divide it by x squared plus one, I just get this guy, x squared minus two, without any remainder. All right. Which also means this guy is equal to the product of this, this denominator and that. Okay, so that is all for dividing polynomials, right? We'll come back to how do you factorize uh, polynomials, which is very similar to this. So I'll go back.